Man, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy who is K2, and I'm back with another video, man. I said I'm back with another video. Hey, listen, if you're watching this video right now, currently at this point in time, I just want to tell you that I love you, man. I really appreciate you for tuning back in. So before this video even starts, I do want to pray for you, whoever you are watching this video. I'm going to let this Range Rover pass by. Oh, yeah, it's about to rain here where I live, man. But, yeah, I just want to pray for you, man. So can we please close our eyes? Dear God, I pray whoever is watching this video gets blessed this week or weekend. I pray that whatever they're looking for, they find in this video. And I pray that whatever I say helps them to find you, Father. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Well, yes, sir. You just uh, you just had one of the greatest prayers. You know what I mean? Now I want you to go do that same prayer, but interpret it in your own words. But I'm not going to waste none of y'all's time. As you guys can see the title, in today's video, we're going to be talking about why can't you hear God? Man, I myself have had troubles with this, you know what I mean? So this video is not just to y'all. This is also to me because sometimes I'm not going to lie. I'd be watching my own videos and being like, man, I should listen to that guy. Because, you know, I'd be dropping facts. And that's the reason why I'd be wanting to put y'all on game. Because this is some of the stuff that I wish I knew when I was younger. Or I just wish I knew earlier on. So, boom. The reason why you can't hear God is because you're too focused on other things, man. This world that we live in has so many distractions, man. One of the biggest distractions we have is right here. This right here. This distraction right here keeps us away from God. And it's crazy. I mean, yeah, you could find God in this distraction by downloading apps like the bible app and things but what are you doing when you're off this app when, when you're off this device are you looking for god when you're off this device man it's crazy man nowadays the world that we live in it's like we're all running away from god and it's crazy too everybody be talking about oh yeah after you die you're going to hell or you're going to heaven but how do we know we're not in hell already we all know that this world is ran by one person. We all know who that person is. This per this world is ran by the devil. And the one of the biggest reasons we can never hear God is because he's always trying to distract us and keep us away from God. One of the biggest things that I will tell y'all in this video is one of the reasons why you really can't hear God is because you're not really listening, man. God will really answer every single thing that you ask of him. I remember the first time I ever asked to uh, God to speak to me. It was when I was in sixth grade. I had gone to church camp with one of my friends. His name is Aaron Owens. Aaron Owens, if you're watching this video, man, shout out to you, man. Your camp was really the first time I ever asked God to speak to me. I remember being at that camp. It was the last day of camp, and they were just asking us, hey, guys, ask God to speak to y'all right now, right here. And I, I kept on asking Aaron the whole week. Hey, Aaron, because Aaron, God has spoken to Aaron before, you know? And I was asking Aaron, hey, Aaron, how does God sound when he speaks to you? And he was just telling me, you'll know when you hear it. And I was like, okay, I'll know. So I remember we had just got done playing dodgeball. Y'all know I whooped some butt in dodgeball. I'm the go at dodgeball, no cap. If you ever want some smoke in dodgeball, you know who to call. Ghostbuster, no, okay, I'm just playing. Call who is K2 or you could just subscribe, which you should do right now. Hey, nah, let me, let me tell you something. Don't subscribe until you find something that you're looking for in this video. Only subscribe if I gave you some knowledge or I gave you some value today. If I didn't give you no knowledge or any value today, don't subscribe and don't like this video. But let's keep going. So I asked Aaron that. And so I remember we was at the end, right? We had just got done playing dodgeball. but we was in the building. And I asked God, we, it was during a song, I asked God, I said, God, I want you to speak to me today. And I remember just closing my eyes and praying to God and asking God, dear God, speak to me. I want to hear your voice. Dear God, speak to me. I want to hear your voice. You know what's crazy? He did not speak to me that day. And I'm going to keep it a buck with y'all. I cried. I was like, man, why isn't God speaking to me, but he's speaking to all these other people? Am I not worthy? Hmm, that thing right there. Am I not worthy? You are worthy. Don't let nobody ever tell you you're not worthy, man. So I remember I asked God, speak to me, and he didn't. And I, and I cried a little bit. And I was like, man, I'm not worthy. And I remember kind of drifting off away from God Pat, after that for a little bit until I was, I was, I want to say eighth grade, eighth grade. I got back into the church with Coach Joe. Shout out to Coach Joe, man. Y'all should pull up to my church, man. Trinity Baptist. Y'all know what to do. Pull up on Sundays, Wednesdays. We have Ignite Student Ministries. But the first time where I feel like God truly spoke to me was during when 
I came over to Joe's, uh, to the new church at Trinity Baptist, man. I feel like I just started to get a closer relationship with God. But the thing is that people don't understand is God doesn't just speak to you by himself. God is going to speak to you through situations and circumstances as well. Don't just be begging God to speak to you and think he's just going to come out of nowhere. Kingston, that guy is not for you. That person is not for you. You should not be talking to them. No, why would he talk to you like that? God is not a cartoon character, man. Listen, God is going to speak to you in some of the craziest ways. You could be asleep and have a dream, wake up and know the answer to the question that you wanted God to answer. Let's say, for instance, I'm asking God to show me where I need to be in the next few years. Imagine I'm begging God, begging God, and he never answers me. Whole time he answered me. He's telling, he's speaking to me through other people. Other people are telling me, man, God wants you to go to Boston. God wants you to go to New York. God wants you to go to Africa. God wants you to go to Egypt. You need to go bring fellowship to over there. But see me being so stuck in this devil infested world, I'm not going to listen to that. I'm just going to be like, what are these guys talking about? The whole time God was speaking through them to you and you're not listening. I just told y'all, God speaks to y'all through the craziest ways. Half of the time, as soon as you ask him a question, God is going to answer you right there. And it's just, we never listen. But some of the times, God really doesn't answer us. And that's for a reason, man. God speaks to you for a reason. And he does everything on his time. How you going to make God hurry up? He made this world. He's going to make you hurry up. Or he's going to make you wait. Why is he going to make you wait, huh? Because you're not ready. Sometimes we ask God for things that we're not ready for. And so he'll be quiet and back up a little bit and watch you and see what you do. And then eventually when you're mature enough and you feel like, and when he feels like, okay, he's starting to get a little bit ready. He's going to send you that answer. And it could be something that you asked him three years ago. And one day he just pops up. Someone just pops up out of nowhere and just answers your question. Or God himself talks to you and answers that question. And you're like, wow. If God would have given me this answer back then, what would I have done? But now that I have waited this long and I've learned patience, look at me now. Pretty much what I'm trying to say, guys, you guys need to open y'all's ears. Stop being so distracted by this. Turn this off one day and really just think to yourself and sit by yourself and really ask God the questions that you really want to know. Because this world that we're living in is so crazy. It's so devil infested. Everything is trying to get us to get away from God. And we just need to all just be humble and listen to him because he answers every single question, no matter what. Even the times when you feel like God isn't listening, he's listening. You can get mad at God. It's part of life getting mad at God. I've gotten mad, I've gotten mad at God so many times you wouldn't even understand. I'm not perfect. I argue with God sometimes. But the thing is, he, will, he always answers me. He always answers me. And some of the times I be getting mad because... It don't be on my timing, but his timing is perfect timing. He's never wrong. And so you can't get mad at, mad at God. Just be patient. Humble yourself and wait. You got to learn to wait. Remember to pray. And remember to push, man. That's something that we all need to start doing. We need to push. You're like, Kabongo, what do you mean push? Do you want me to push through life? No. I want you to pray until something happens. That's what you need to start doing. You're going to ask God all these questions, but you're not even devoting your life to him. Sometimes you just need to pray until something happens. And guys, excuse me, man. I don't know if y'all can see. I'm hot, man. It's it's currently pretty hot in uh, Texas. It seems like it's going to rain today, but you never know. It's Texas. It might snow tomorrow. So I'm just going to enjoy a little bit of the sun while it's still here. But I really appreciate y'all for tapping back in, man. Moral of the story. Just pray until something happens and make sure to keep these open because he's going to speak to you. You just got to be able to listen. And he's going to talk to you in some weird ways, different ways that you would never expect. But God is a mysterious person. He moves in mysterious ways. And so does the devil. But guess what? Like I always say in a bunch of my videos, God always wins. Just learn to listen. When you're calm and when you're ready and you're still, not just your body is still, not just you being still, when your soul is still. That's when he's going to talk to you. I appreciate y'all for watching this video. Peace.